Namaste friends, welcome back to your 14 day yoga flexibility challenge. Today is all about shoulder and chest stretches. So we're going to be focusing on opening them up. So do your best if you would like a warm up. Remember, you can always click over to the 10 minute sun salutation warm up before we begin. So all you're going to need today is a rolled up strap, a rolled up scarf or even a rolled up towel. So we're going to start off in a standing position. I'm going to show you the easier version to begin with. Bring your big toes together, heels slightly apart. Take that prop behind your back, hold it at shoulder distance apart. You're going to start to lean forward and bend up and over the legs. You can bend the legs as much as you like, allowing the arms to fall up and over your head, allowing everything to give into gravity and just breathe here. Allow your neck to hang heavy. Um, if you would like to go a little deeper, come back up to standing and we're going to interlace our hands behind the spine. From here we're going to start to roll forward once again and allow the hands to fall up and over the head in a lovely forward fold and a beautiful shoulder stretch. So the closer your palms are together, the more intense the stretch is going to be. So play around with maybe letting the palms fall open, perhaps even rotating the hands so the palms are facing the outside of the body. Just play around with it, but when you find a really good stretch, hold that and we're going to breathe for three deep breaths. On your next inhale, let's, with the power of the legs, bring ourselves back up to standing. Now release the interlace of the hands and just remove your prop for a moment. Give the hands a little shake out and take your hands towards your sacrum, but not to the lower spine. And we're going to bend our hips forward, taking a little back bend, inhaling, looking up to the sky. Exhale, come back to standing. Come to the top of the mat. Inhale your hands to the top of the sky. Touch the palms, look up. Exhale, fold forward from the hips. Inhale, halfway lift, look up. Hands to the shins or to the thighs. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands and let's step back into our plank. Take a nice strong plank, take a deep inhale, exhale all the way to the belly, inhale for a back bend of your choice, either full cobra or a baby cobra, exhale down, send your bum towards your thighs and extend your legs out in front of you. We're coming in for a seat. Take your feet a little way away from the body, maybe a few inches away. Feet should be hip distance apart. Hands a couple of inches away from the bum, but fingertips facing towards the feet. We're going to come in for a reverse tabletop. So this is a really deep opener for the fronts of the shoulders. So do your best. On an inhale, we're going to lift our hips up towards the sky. Keep your knees in line with your um, hips the whole time. So inhale, lift. Now allow your head to drop back behind you, pushing the shoulder blades nice and open. So pushing those shoulder blades towards each other at the back of the spine. Keep the knees engaged. Let's take three deep breaths. On an exhale, lower the hips down towards the ground. Your neck should be the last thing that comes up. Hug your knees up towards your chest. 
and taking any comfortable seat of your choice we're going to stretch out the back of the shoulder blades we've done quite a bit for the chest and and for the front of the shoulders so we're going to take our right arm across the body and use our left arm underneath to pull the right arm towards us now this is the beginner's version you're more than welcome to just stay here and you're going to do this if you want to go into a really deep version of the stretch then follow along with me we're actually going to lie on our bellies so come down to the belly and we're going to take our right arm underneath the left arm plant the palm onto the ground now the left arm is going to go, come on top of the right so you're creating a crisscross now from here you can either stay elevated and just feeling out the stretch you can even rest your head onto a pillow or you can bring your forehead down to the ground just giving in to gravity and keeping both your palms on the ground you can breathe into this intense stretch at the back of both shoulder blades if you're in the easy version just stay as you are keep stretching we're all going to take three deep breaths from here Take two more deep breaths. Inhale, lift the head up off of the ground. If you're in the more intense version, use your spine to lift your back and chest up off of the ground and release the arms. If you're in the easy version, just sit it out for a moment, close your eyes. If you've taken the harder version, we're going to take Sphinx just for a moment with our elbows under our shoulders, hands placed against the ground, pushing the legs into the ground. Close your eyes and everybody, wherever you are, take a couple of deep breaths. Now we're going to repeat that but on the other side so if you're taking the easy version just take your other arm across your body and pull it in towards you if you're doing what i'm doing then we're going to take our left hand underneath our right arm this time palm down against the ground start to lean down onto that arm and take the top arm up and over the top so you've got your crisscross once again Remember, you can rest your head on a pillow or you can allow gravity to do its work and bring your forehead all the way down to the ground. Let's take three very deep breaths wherever we are. Everybody take two more deep breaths. If you're in the harder version, inhale, lift your head up. Using the back muscles, release the left arm and then the right. Coming back into the Sphinx, so your elbows can be underneath your shoulders, hands pressed against the ground. Everybody else, just sit and close your eyes. Let's take two deep breaths. I'm going to push myself up and meet the rest of you in a nice comfortable seat so everybody take a comfortable seat of your choice i hope you've enjoyed these shoulder stretches and they've taught you perhaps something new so until tomorrow thank you for practicing with me and remember you can end your practice with some meditation or a lovely shavasana until then namaste everybody